Now we come to chapter 4 of the book of Numbers. And this is a very straightforward chapter for the most part. And it is laying out the duties of the priest. And just a real quick intro for this before I play the audio and text. After they had taken the number of the Levites and made an exchange of the firstborn of Israel for them, and now they are ordered to number them a second time. But instead of a month old and upward, as in the previous chapter, this will be between 30 and 50 years of age, and take out from them such as were fit for service. And do remember how this organization is, is going about in order to fully understand how the grouping of these Levites is happening. Remember how Judah represents that of the tribes to the east, how Reuben represents those of the south, how Ephraim represents those of the west, and how Dan represents those. But you have the other tribes in behind them, but you would only hear about Judah, Reuben, Ephraim, and Dan to represent their other tribes. Well, it's the very same way with these Levites, Moses and Aaron representing the descendants of Aaron, the priest, and then the Levites, the Kohathites, the Gershonites, and the Mararites. I have a little trouble with that name every time. But these would be the heads of the other families. And right here we see the duties, the Gershonites, their duties were the tabernacle and tent covering, a screen for the doorway of tent, hangings of the court, screen for doorway of the court, the Kohathites, the duties were the ark, table, lampstand, altars, utensils of the sanctuary screen. You can also read about their families underneath these heads. Duties of the Mararites is that of the frames of the tabernacle, bars, pillars, sockets, and equipment. Chapter 4 And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi after their families by the house of their fathers from thirty years old and upward even until fifty years old all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This shall be the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation about the most holy things. And when the camp setteth forward, Aaron shall come, and his sons, and they shall take down the covering veil, and cover the ark of testimony with it, and shall put thereon the covering of badger's skins, and shall spread over it a cloth holy of blue, and shall put in the staves thereof. And upon the table of showbread they shall spread a cloth of blue, and put thereon the dishes, and the spoons, and the bowls, and covers to cover withal, and the continual bread shall be thereon, and they shall spread upon them a cloth of scarlet, and cover the same with a covering of badges' skins, and shall put in the staves thereof. And they shall take a cloth of blue, and cover the candlestick of the light, and his lamps, and his tongues, and his snuff dishes, and all the oil vessels thereof, wherewith they minister unto it, and they shall put it in all the vessels thereof within a covering of badges' skins, and shall put it upon a bar. And upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue, and cover it with a covering of badges' skins, and shall put to the staves thereof. And they shall take all the instruments of ministry, wherewith they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a cloth of blue, and cover them with a covering of badges' skins, and shall put them on a bar. And they shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth thereon. And they shall put upon it all the vessels thereof, wherewith they minister about it, even the censers, the flesh hooks, and the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar. And they shall spread upon it a covering of badger skins, and put to the staves of it. And when Aaron and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary, and all the vessels of the sanctuary, as the camp is to set forward, after that the sons of Kohath shall come to bear it, but they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation. And to the office of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, pertaineth the oil for the light, and the sweet incense, and the daily meat offering, and the anointing oil, and the oversight of all the tabernacle, and of all that therein is, in the sanctuary, and in the vessels thereof. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, 
Cut ye not off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but thus do unto them that they may live and not die when they approach unto the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden. But they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered, lest they die. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take also the sum of the sons of Gershon throughout the houses of their fathers by their families. From thirty years old and upward until fifty years old shalt thou number them, all that enter in to perform the service, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites, to serve and for burdens. And they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle, and the tabernacle of the congregation, his covering, and the covering of the badger skins that is above upon it, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the hangings of the court, and the hanging for the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and by the altar round about, and their cords, and all the instruments of their service, and all that is made for them, so shall they serve. At the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, in all their burdens, and in all their service, and ye shall appoint unto them in charge all their burdens. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merari, thou shalt number them after their families by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward even unto fifty years old shalt thou number them, every one that entereth into the service to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And this is the charge of their burden, according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation. The boards of the tabernacle, and the bars thereof, and the pillars thereof, and sockets thereof, and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with all their service. And by name ye shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their service, in the tabernacle of the congregation, under the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. And Moses and Aaron and the chief of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families and after the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. And those that were numbered of them by their families were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were they that were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, which Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And those that were numbered of the sons of Gershon throughout their families and by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation even those that were numbered of them throughout their families by the house of their fathers were two thousand and six hundred and thirty. These are they that were numbered of the families of the sons of Gershon, of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, whom Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord. And those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari throughout their families by the house of their fathers from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that entereth into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them after their families, were three thousand and two hundred. These be those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All those that were numbered of the Levites whom Moses and Aaron and the chief of Israel numbered after their families and after the house of their fathers from thirty years old and upward even unto fifty years old, every one that came to do the service of the ministry and the service of the burden in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them were eight thousand and five hundred and fourscore. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses 
everyone according to his service and according to his burden. Thus were they numbered of him as the Lord commanded Moses.